People across the association were calling the Raptors crazy for not trading Scotty Barnes for Kevin Durant, but Toronto's front office and fan base are well aware of the type of player they have on their hands. The 21-year-old Scotty Barnes is a hybrid of Giannis Adetokounmpo and Paul George with explosive finishing comprised of a 7'3 wingspan plus ever-improving guard skills on the wing. Toronto may not merely have the best player from 2021's draft class, but as crazy as it may sound right now, the best player on the planet in their grasp before you know it. But why are people doubting Scotty? And what are my expectations for how things will play out for the kid in year two of his career? Before that, just 8.8% .8 of you watching right now are subscribed, so please subscribe, leave a thumbs up on this video for more uploads like it, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference, and click the link in the description to go follow at dflowhoops on Instagram and Twitter, I'd greatly appreciate it. One of the many beauties of basketball is that it can be evaluated from a wide variety of different perspectives, and before we go into the film room on Toronto's sophomore, one of those viewpoints we'll be analyzing is the marketability side of things. In that regard, Toronto's fourth overall pick from 2021's draft has a head start on other players his age and or from his draft class. Last summer, Scotty Barnes signed a multi-year shoe endorsement deal with Nike, but more notably, Barnes has a ton of opportunity with Canadian corporations, given the Raptors are the only team in the country, allowing him to already star in a handful of commercials. Now Scotty has a YouTube channel where he covers his life in a reality show, the channel covers Scotty's rock star world away from the court, his hardworking nature in the Rico Hines runs, and even features Barnes breaking down his own footage. That seems like a lot for a player to handle, but Barnes proves the cliche of quote unquote pressure makes diamonds to be true. The more hype he gets, the better he performs. Coming off a rookie campaign in the pros, where the kid was wise beyond his years and got better as the year progressed, Expect Mr. Barnes to have a 20-point-per-game season in 22-23. From the All-Star break in February up until the end of the season in April, Barnes averaged a stat line of 17.1 points, 7.7 .7 rebounds, and 3.7 assists over an evaluative 25-game sample size for the rest of the year. Impressive numbers for a first-year player. The kid's going to be one of the faces, if not the face, of the entire NBA one day based off the fact that his confidence, talent, work ethic, enthusiasm, not to mention 6'8", 230-pound frame, 9-foot-inch standing jump, aforementioned insane 7'3-inch reach, and guard abilities at that size, resembles modern-day monsters like LeBron, Giannis, and KD. Like those three, Barnes combines his naturally gifted hops with a brilliant mind for the game of basketball. Scotty was third among all rookies in assists per game last season, and pass fakes which shift the entire defense's attention like this display how wary opponents are of that facilitating. That pass fake into viciously explosive takes to the cup has become one of Scotty's patented weapons to utilize offensively. You could talk about how Barnes can gain an insane amount of downhill momentum off the dribble for days, with his Olympic runner-esque strides whether in the half or open court, plus responsive ball handling under pressure. However, the most unique part about Scotty is how he never gives up on a play on the other end of the court, and generally everything he provides on the defensive end. Whether it's locking up Harden in the Rico Hines runs or in the NBA, you can see Scott's ability to read and react even after slightly falling for crossover moves allows him to swiftly recover. Barnes has special lateral quickness for his size, which is paired with veteran-esque attention to detail and help defense on the back end. You see exactly why the Raptors improved so much in 21-22 when taking into account the perimeter and back end presence that Barnes was in his first season. Barnes ranked number 6 among all small forwards in defensive rating. The Raptors went from the 15th ranked team defense in 2021 to the number 9 ranked defense in 21-22. Scotty's also exceptional at turning that defense into offense. He's constantly putting pressure on opponents by bursting up the court with mesmerizing speed and transition, not just for his size, but for any player in the game. In terms of his maturing skill offensively, a weapon in Scotty's bag that's already developed is his post game. From shimmy shakes to sky hooks and fades, the entire repertoire was on full display in year one. What I love about Barnes is his offensive versatility, meaning his willingness and wherewithal to know how and when 
to be either the screen setter or the ball handler in pick and rolls. This allows coach Nick Nurse to get funky with his play sets and gives Scotty the impact of either a Draymond Green or Stephen Curry on the Raptors. As dominant and intimidating as Scotty's finishing around the basket was, his 71.1% mark from 0 to 3 feet can improve leaps and bounds. That's going to allow his points per game to shoot up in year two. In terms of his shooting, Barnes was a better pull-up jump shooter than he was in spot-up scenarios, shooting 31.3% off the bounce and 29% on catch and shoots. A shooting stat which says a lot is the fact that Barnes shot a three-pointer after taking seven-plus dribbles in 48 out of his 74 games last season and made 50% of those attempts. Nifty one-on-one -on -one creation, like this bit of wizardry in narrow confines from the right corner, displays Scott's ability to create space, plus stay on balance, even with his matchup right in his grill. His 30.1% three-point percentage on 2.6 attempts per game leaves a lot to be desired, but the Raptors' summer workouts display that the endless repetition, which is crucial for developing one's jumper, has been put in by the hard-working Scotty B. The downside of Scotty having a massive fan base and being extremely hyped up is that you're going to have that large portion of non-believers who try to stir up just as much hate as there is love. There's going to be people who reference Barnes not being able to hit a layup at All-Star Weekend, or folks saying Scotty's perimeter skills are too raw. That comes naturally with any success story, and Barnes is well aware he has to have tunnel vision regardless of those casuals. Looking at this from the team perspective of the Toronto Raptors, when you factor in the development of Precious Achua, the maturity of Pascal Siakam getting accustomed to his role as the number one scoring option, knock on wood the health of Fred Van Vliet and also Scotty Barnes staying healthy for the playoffs in 2022-23 as well. And that was one of the reasons for why Clippers forward Paul George had this to say down in Los Angeles for the Rico Hines runs. The 33rd overall pick in 2022's NBA draft, Christian Coloco, looks like yet another late draft gem for the GM god Masai Ujiri. I talked about Christian in a separate upload, which you can go watch after this. The scariest part of any weapon that could potentially be developed for Scotty Barnes, though, not just in year two, but deep into his career, is the man's Kawhi Leonard light pull-up jump shooting. Which trait of Scotty Barnes is most dangerous for opponents in your opinion? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out, and the top 5 commenters by September 21st earn free merchandise of their choosing. Last video I asked, why doesn't Stephen Curry get LeBron James love? Alex O is today's Speaks winner for commenting in response, quote, from the beginning, since the Chosen One cover of Sports Illustrated, LeBron had a bright spotlight on him and everything he does. On the other hand, you had a 6'2 point guard from Davidson who went 7th overall in the draft to a OK Golden State Warrior team. The expectation for LeBron was always higher as he was marketed as the face of the NBA. Steph is going to get a lot more respect when he's gone from the NBA. End quote. You tell the story and Community Speaks, so leave your take on today's question.